What's up Multiverse and welcome to part two of the Geek Lounge Star Wars celebration. We've got here now the San Diego Comic Con 2020 Nebulon B Frigate. Well, let's not waste any time, let's get building. All right guys, so this is our second build of the day to celebrate all things Star Wars here at the Geek Lounge. And this is the San Diego Comic-Con 2020 Nebulon B frigate, right? Yep, that's yeah. correct. That's the uh, med medical frigate that appears at the end of uh, Empire Strike. Spoiler yeah. alert, again, if you did watch our video earlier, make sure if you haven't seen, for some reason, there probably are people out there, young viewers, yeah. who haven't seen Empire Strikes Back, skip to this point now so things don't get ruined for you though to be honest this movie is like 40 years old it's older than me yeah. so like there's no excuses really but as you said it, it's the end after han's been taken after luke's been i was about to say decapitated but no. of course he's not been decapitated is that a word amputated, amputated. that's a good yes. word uh but yeah he's having his uh having his hand replaced with a cybernetic hand and I guess where they're making plans for their next uh... venture. Yeah, <laughs> if that's the right word. Or adventure to go and uh, recover Han, 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 depending on where Han, you're from. Han, yeah, Han, 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 tomato, tomato, potato, potato. Um, I mean, it looks a pretty good model, I guess. In terms of, I mean, I mean, I've always felt the ship looks just like a gun. It's not <laughs> the most kind of like. Is aesthetic the right word? Aesthetically, like, nice? I, I, don't I know suppose so, yeah. I mean, it, I, I guess, obviously, there's a lot of different ship designs in, in Star yeah. Wars. And some might look cooler than others. Others just have to perform a job, I suppose. And yeah, yeah. It's a, yeah, I mean, it's a it's a good-looking representation, I think, of the of the in-universe ship. Um, it's got, obviously, a lot of, uh, lot of little greebling and various little parts to it. It's a shame Lego have still never made a kind of UCS mm -hmm. version, but I would imagine that would take up far more space than I've currently got available. <laughs> yeah. Even uh, with some of my other sets, which are still actually in the loft. That's what you got. Tons have of room sets for them. not built yet. Maybe we'll do a video of the sets that haven't even been built yet. It's not something, I don't know. But is this, I, I've always wondered actually, is this the front or is that the engines? Like which... No, that's the that's the, en the engines so at the back, the so engine. you should see the boosters kind of in yeah in the back there i guess um and where where were where is uh luke Leia, and is it r2 and C2 yeah i would and... imagine it's it's somewhere around here i believe isn't it in the movie there's yeah, a, a bay window they're looking out well, of we've got the um we should have shown the box off here actually it's um the first thing actually i was interested in, let me show this off for you guys the San Diego comic-con logo there if you can see that it's it's actually printed on the box, which I was surprised at because obviously I'm you're more the Lego guy, yeah. I'm more the Funko guy, and obviously Lego, uh, pardon me, Funko pops from from conventions. It's always a sticker. There's no because because it is kind of a windowed item yeah. essentially. So 
I think that's that's quite cool that it is yeah, I think most literally the, printed. Most of the Lego limited editions are, are always printed because the, the box is designed specifically for that that piece and yeah, obviously it doesn't contain a window, it is a sealed mm. sealed item in most cases. And again to show that off it is kind of like a stylized design mm. sort of thing. It's very kind of almost comic book like, but still of the Lego model, not the actual kind of ship itself and there obviously on the back is the the actual lego model itself obviously here nine plus though i did notice it says building toy as mm -hmm. opposed to the other ones building set obviously 18 plus 77904 the set nebulon b3 at 459 pieces i think this did take you a little bit longer to, yeah to i think there's a lot of little fiddly bits in the in the build where you're constantly kind of turning it around and turning it up and down and just kind of laying out all the small pieces takes takes much longer. I mean, there's tons of bits you barely even kind of see where they're they're kind of all sort of hidden away inside pieces. But yeah, it's um, obviously they they've done a good job for it. I think considering it was a, a convention exclusive, one slight annoyance, and I didn't mention this with the uh, the previous build that we looked at, is that again it's a it's actually a sticker rather than a printed tile. Most mm -hmm. uh, Lego collectors are always prefer printed things stickers and, are never going to last as long and you put yourself in that in that category or, yeah, I, yeah yeah i'd say so it's a printed i i can get it if, they're, if it's only being produced for a, a couple of hundred sets maybe they they don't want to go to the extent of printing it but i mean how how much of an expense can it be mm -hmm. but it, it it would be nice to to uh have a have had a printed tile rather than a, a sticker that eventually is probably going to peel and mm -hmm. And come off but other than that it, it's quite a nice build the, the stands quite good I mean it, I do kind of wonder it might have been better if similar to the uh, the best bit jaw set if the um, if this could have been clear rather than mm -hmm. black it may have just given it a bit bit of a better look because obviously it's supposed to be flying but it is what it is they they can't do miracles with these sets I guess it yeah. has to uh... and did you did you say to me this was this the Falcon? Or yeah, so it comes to be with a uh, small representation here of the of the Millennium Falcon, which obviously... Falcon or Falcon? Falcon. Potato, potato, tomato, tomato again. Falcon, but, uh, Falcon. At the end of the film, um, flies off to... Uh, Is this when Lando has stolen Han's clothes? Yes, yeah. supposedly. That, uh, just check the scene. I mean, I'm sure we can pop an image up there as well. I mean, I mean, he's wearing Han's clothes. That's in all just fairness wrong. to Lando, I mean, he did just lose his home. He probably like left all his cloaks behind and may not have had anything anyway. So. And plus, Han took the ship from Lando. Yeah. So maybe they were Lando's clothes in the first place. Who knows? And as with our previous build, we've got a Wicked Brick display case to uh, show this off in. So Q Star Wars wipe. And again, a very cool display solution here from Wicked Brick. Their link can be found in the description. As we said, if you did watch the previous video, uh, you know we're not affiliated with them, but they make some really cool things, so do go and check them out. Yeah, one other thing to point out, obviously, the case is all-encompassing. We didn't put the front ah, very the, true, yeah. or the top on just purely because of the, the light. The light e even still, I think you, this kind of, because it's very black, obviously it's space, it's probably still you guys might because of the light probably still see it as a little bit gray anyway i can tell you it's definitely pure black that pure space isn't mm -hmm. it? the final frontier no yeah, that's the uh the other one that's the other one people won't be happy about that so yeah again with this uh display solution it comes with a small plaque kind of showing the ship the uh piece count and set number as well as the kind of crew i guess looking out of the the view window is yeah, the, it's, I think it's, that is literally the final yeah, the shot. Oh, scene but then the, they are going to walk. Don't yeah, they? I yeah. suppose it. That's the final kind of character. Well, the pretty sure warps the other one. Again? I'd just like to point out I'm not actually a Trekkie. I, I even think you like Star Trek more than I do. Mm. Not to say I don't like it, but uh, I much prefer Star Wars. I just clearly have the wrong verbiage here today. Do you have any final thoughts to add? Uh, overall I think it's a, it's a nice display piece uh, to kind of have on the shelf with everything else I mean it's, it doesn't come with a minifigure everybody loves a minifigure but I guess for this set there are no real associated figures apart from mm -hmm. the main 
cast that are in the final scene, it's probably a bit much to include all of them in. Yeah, and I mean, it's not. Set. It's not kind of like the Bespin Jewel is like a scene. This is essentially a a ship, but it's still on smaller scale. Kind yeah, of, right. Yeah, so, exactly. Yeah, I mean, it's yeah, obviously it's tiny in in comparison to its actual size. I mean, even given the fact of how big the the Falcon is in, yeah. in comparison. So. Do you get mini mini figures? Do they exist? Uh, Okay. No. No. BB-8 doesn't count. Yeah. All right, so let's take one last look at this. Engage. I'm joking, joking. guys that's it from us here on star wars day we hope you enjoyed this video if so make sure to give us a like drop some comments below make sure you hit that subscribe button appearing now we've got loads more things to come lots of star wars lego sets lots of fungo pops lots of other really cool geek stuff make sure you also check out some of the other content over on your left including the video from earlier today and guys may the fourth be with you always <laughs>